Hey guys, it's Sling Knight. Today's video will be on five more life-changing plugins slash mods in FF14. Before we jump in, I will have to warn you, please do this at your own risk. Not that I've known anyone ever to have gone into trouble by using these plugins slash mods. So with that said, let's jump right in. So the first one you've seen already in the thumbnail, it reduces the lag effect from your GCDs, your weapon skills, and your abilities. The no clippy plugin simulates what it feels like to have 10 ping in game. So as an example, I have 34 ping on average, 30 30 to 40 ping on average and when i turned this plugin on i felt an immediate difference when i was looking at my hotbar as i was testing the skills out i can 100 feel a difference everything was more responsive it was just smoother and quicker so i highly recommend this plugin not only that if you're somebody who has around 100 ping 150 ping the effect may be even better for you and then maybe if you have 200 ping you can go from not really being able to play end game at all to with this plugin on you can then actually start raiding now this is with the no clippy on i will show you a difference i'm gonna use some skills here and i will show you before with 30 ping i'm not able to weave in three ogcds these are three very short probably the quickest uh, ability ogcd you can weave in so three of these now i can weave it in with the no clip a plugin so i'm going to show you real quick so as you can see there i fit in all three gcds the second win bloodbath and faint and then I was able to use my Chaotic Spring just about on time. So you can see the impact this plugin has. And if I don't have the plugin on, I would not be able to do that at all. It will be very unsmooth. There will be a clear delay when I use three GCDs. So, but this is only possible because these three GCD, OGCDs are very short. And I will say that this plugin won't make a as big of a difference as you think it might. It will certainly make your gameplay experience better and it will improve it overall, especially the more ping you have. The higher the ping you have, the more this will have an impact. Number two, Craftimizer. This plugin is going to specifically help crafters. So if you're not a crafter, you can skip to the next one. But I encourage you to check out this plugin anyway, if you're interested in crafting at all. One of the favorite features of this is if I bring up the crafting log. And for example, I want to craft some item from woodworking. On the right here, you can instantly switch to the correct crafter job without having to set up a specific macro to do that or having to press your character. And then you have to go into your gear set list and then you have to switch job. This makes things a lot easier. And I'm going to click switch job. And then boom, I am a carpenter right now. And if I want to go back to a weaver, I click cloth craft and then switch job. Boom, nice and easy. The next feature is if you ever craft an item. For example, I have no idea how to craft this level 91 item. I'm just going to click synthesis. Uh, and then you look at the menu, it will give you steps to optimize the craft. So we're having to do all the research, all the thinking. As you're crafting, it will tell you what step to take. All you got to do is click on it and then it will proceed. And I'm just going to keep clicking on it it just automatically generates. So that's one way of using this plugin. It's just clicking on the skills as you go. It's going to tell you what skill you should be using next. However, there is a slight problem when you are using this. It's not going to tell you whether you have the gear score to fully complete the item at maximum quality and maximum progress. You need to keep that in mind. I would not recommend using this that often. This can be good if you're just crafting some random item on the go that you you know you don't need to think about. You don't need to do any extra steps for. If you're crafting like a expensive item, I would not use this specific part. And also, please make sure to use the trial synthesis before you do any of this just in case it goes wrong okay and then the third thing you can use is suggested macros you can click generate macro and it's going to generate a specific macro for you here so then all you got to do is copy to clipboard right here copy to clipboard and then go to your user macro and then just paste it here and then just run it and that's it so you want to use trial synthesis first before you actually craft the item in case you may be wasting your materials or gill. Number three, elegant tools. So at the beginning, this seemed a lot of information. It looks really complicated. So I just didn't really bother with this. But if you read the first line, it basically keeps track of your items across your characters, retainers, and free company. And if you open this up, it will give you an entire list of every single item you have. And it tells you the exact location of where they are. So you don't have to go through every single retainer you have, every single bit of inventory, your glamour, chess, your inventory, your free company chat. You don't have to do any of that crap anymore to look for the item you need or that you're specifically looking for. So this whole thing shows every item you have had. It's going to show items that are not on this server. It's on your alt account as well, on your free company, in your retainers, stuff like that. For example, I want to look up which relic weapon I'm currently working on. I want to see which Mandeville relic weapon I have. So I just got to do is type in the name of the Mandeville weapon. So type in Manda 
There you go. And I look at here. I realize my Mandeville revolver is still not at the last stage. So then, you know, I can take some time and work on that. And obviously, it's going to tell you what type, high quality, normal quality, how many you have, uh, which character you have it on. So it's on me. I'm not I'm probably going to censor this part. And it's going to tell you the exact location. It's, it is in my glamour chest and I can go and grab it. All right. And then you can also go to your retainer's inventory. You have instant access to your retainer's inventory. You scroll down all of it. Boom. You can check everything out on your player, on you right now, in your free company chest. So this is extremely helpful to keeping track of where everything is, especially how many items there are in this game. So besides that, there's also another feature, which, which is if you hover over an item under locations, that's my name and it's in my bag. For example, I need a lot of this material for phantom muting as an example. I will need to collect as many as I can. So maybe I have some in my retainer, in my free company chest, and I can go and grab it. And then it will tell you the exact locations of it. Number four, live stream. This plugin significantly speeds up and makes it easier to travel using Etherite, or if you want to change world, or if you want to change data center as well. Now I'm going to show you some examples. So I'm here at an Etherite. All you're going to do is walk into it, and then this menu pops up. So on the furthest left, it will show you each of the Etherite shard location that you can go to. And all you're going to do is click on it once and it will take you there instantly pretty much if i click on weaver's guild boom i'm there i don't have to press m you know click on this click on that click on this blah 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 right all this really tedious stuff especially when you're a beginner you don't know where the hell anything is and this this hellhole of old all is so confusing i remember the first time we're playing so you got a quest somewhere gladiators guild boom you go straight there no problem now, if you're in one of the main etherized, then you can click on one of the servers to pretty much instantly travel to a different server. So I'm going to click on Spriggan. I'm on Louis Soas. Spriggan. Boom. Nice and easy, nice and quick. And then the numbers you see here, which will only show up in like the main etherites of each city. These are the housing wards. So if I want to go to ward one of the goblet. Boom. Super fast. I'm on Chaos Louis Sauce. Chaos is my data center. Louis Sauce is my server. So if I want to go to Light Data Center, and then for example, Zodiac as a random server to pick, you can type in Seychat as a command L I Zodiac. And then boom, everything's going to automate itself into going to Zodiac. And at any moment, you can right click the bottom bit to cancel the automation process. Last one on the list is make place. So if you're ever interested in having a house in FF14, you pretty much have to give this plugin a try. This plugin allows you to load in certain builds. As you can see, the items have the exact coordinates, the exact rotation, the exact die you need to have, and then the entire list about 400 items here for this large FC house. Now, in order to get this build to begin with, you will need to go to this website called makeplace.app slash places. And then here, right, for example, I have a large house and then you can take a look with each one of these houses. And you see one that you like, you can click on it and then you can download the makeplace JSON. That's the uh, thing that you need to load into the game with the plugin. Now, some of them don't have this. I don't know why they even bother uploading it if they don't have it. Some of them sell it for a cheap price, maybe $5, $10, I don't know. Some of them do do that. Uh, but as long as you have this, you can install it for free. Now, before we go further, you want to go to download here. To make things easier for yourself, you want to download the Make Place app. This is a uh, separate app outside of the game, which lets you view the inside of the houses before you decide to try it out for your own build. So I booted up this app, this Make Place app. So on the right here, you click on all nine houses and then here's a whole list of them you can choose from and you can search by size. For example, I want a medium house build, you know, whichever one catches your eye and then you click on it and then visit. Boom, it's gonna load you into that exact house. And then you can take a look at the exact details of the house, how it's built what the interior is like exactly more than just what the picture can say. And then you can obviously do the same for apartments for different sizes for islands as well. Okay. I've never actually checked this one out. You can also copy island builds. I've never seen this one before. So there's that. Once you found the one you like, for example, this one that I'm currently in house with balcony, then we go back to the uh, make place website and select the correct size. Scroll down. It should be right here. House with balcony. And then there should be the make place JSON. And all you gotta do is download that. Make sure to remember where you store that file. Once you're back in the game, all you gotta do is bring up your plugins menu, or you can just type in slash make place to open it up. 
and then you can load that. Make sure you don't use apply layer until you have gathered everything before you want to start placing the items down. You can only load the file in when you are in the when you're in the build mode, indoor furnishing, rotation mode. And then there you can load the build. And then it should give you a whole list of items, the exact coordinates, the exact rotation, the exact die, the exact position. And then you just place them all. It's going to be like 400 to 300 items, depending on what size of house you want. Once you're ready to have everything put in place, click apply layout and then click load. Then it will start running down from the top to bottom each piece of item it will place it in the correct position. So now I'm going to go through the, the entire list of every single plugin that I have been using. So Accountant, this is just like an alternate way of the Control U timers. It's basically this, but um, you can instantly see it at the top of your screen. If you click on it, you can see your retainers are finished in the ventures and then your submarines, as well as uh, other stuff like tribal quests, reset, custom deliveries, Cagpot, map allowance, squadrons, levy allowance, etc. Chat bubbles. This is the one I mentioned previously in my last video. If you say anything in say chat, just one, two, three, boom. And then there's a little speech bubble above your head. Extremely helpful when you're in large cities, try to chat to people in the say chat. Customize plus. This is like modding stuff. I don't, I never really used it. I got this just so I can see what other players use with this Customize Plus for the Mare mod that I have also mentioned in my previous video. Death Recap, quick way to understand what damage killed you or your party. It's pretty good when you're raiding, try to figure out the exact skill that killed everyone. Discord Rich Presence, it shows you the zone, the job, the level and name and world in your Discord status. It looks pretty nice on Discord. Just make sure to not boot up on admin mode. Otherwise, this does not work. Uh, the Ultimate Ocean Fishing plugin, I have this plugin, but I don't think I fished for a long time. So if you're interested in ocean fishing, you should try this out. Doorbell. So whenever someone enters your a house that you're in, it plays a little chime sound. So you know when someone is in or leaving. Enemy list HP. This is particularly useful for like some ultimate fights. For example, if I hit a dummy, it's going to show up on my aggro list. It's going to tell me the percentage of his health. So if I have like multiple of these mobs and it tells me exactly the percentage of health, it can be extremely useful for something like for something like T, where you have to switch between the two different bosses in the first phase. We have a uh, many easy many cackpot, which you know instead of like go in Google, type in it in many cackpot, and then doing it on the website as you're doing it in game, you can just use this plugin, makes things easier. FPS plugin, you can see on the top right, it will, if you hover over it, it tells you the average and minimum. My mouse cursor is extremely large, so it's kind of blocked that, but you get the point. It shows you the FPS basically. Gather buddy, I recommend this if you are an active gatherer, it tells you the nodes, spawn timers, as well as the fishing spawn timers or where their location is at. But I personally don't gather, so. Glamour, this is a mod, which could probably be like an entire video on its own, just like Customize Plus, it's kind of in the same category. With Penumbra, which you can change your character however you see fit. I can make this like cat girl extremely big, bigger than this building right here. I can make it into a Lala Fell, really small, like a peanut, like smaller than the, than the fruit here. Stuff like that with this plugin, uh, with this mod. Inventory search bar. So you bring up your inventory, you press Ctrl F. So etherite pass, and then boom is right here. Item vendor location. For example, I have some clear prism to clear any glamour. It doesn't tell you where to get this item, but with this plugin, you right click on the item, click on vendor location, and then it will give you a list of location where you can buy this item. Just back up, it backs up all your settings. I never had to use this, uh, thankfully. So live stream is the plugin we talked about. Make plays the plugin we talked about. Mare is the plugin that we talked about. So Mare is the mods, which syncs up what I've talked about previously, the Glamour and Custom Plus, and the other players can see your customized modded version of yourself. That's what Mare does. If you just Google this, you, you will find a whole guide on how to install it. Market board. So if you type in say chat slash PMB, you can bring up the market board right here. So I quite like this when I need to look for items to buy. And if you hover over any item, then this market board will load for the load into that particular item and then search for the marketplace for it. For example, in my data center is uh, Chaos and Phantom is selling this item for the cheapest. And I can go there and grab this item real quick. It's quite convenient. So instead of going to the website, you can just do this in game with less clicks, less typing in a much more convenient way. Peeping Tom shows uh, who targeted you. If someone like emoted at you or something and you don't know who it was, then you can then tell who it is with this plugin. Otherwise, I don't really use this plugin that much. Penumbra, which is like an essential mod with Mare, 
that I previously talked about that needs it to function. Ping plugin, just a simple plugin that tells you what ping you have and then the server you connect it on with the IP address. Price insight, so this is, so if I hover over an item, you can see the price of the item from which server it is and the most recent purchase, etc. So that can be quite useful if you're looking to buy an item quickly to refill an item, refill some potions, refill some food buffs, etc. Simple tweaks plugin, I think it's useful, but I've never checked it out enough to actually make use of it. There's a whole bunch of options. I don't know what they really do. Not that I really care enough to look through the whole list. So it's there for you if you want to check it out, but I don't really know much about it. I'm going to be honest. Text advanced. So this plugin is quite useful. It speeds up everything. In terms of dialogue, I'm at the summoning bell. I want to talk to my retainers. I right click the summoning bell. Usually there are dialogues. Whenever I speak to my retainer, there's a small dialogue and it skips that instantly. And then when you quit, there's also another dialogue, skips that too. Boom, nice and easy. So if you don't care about dialogues of any cutscenes, you can go into the settings and then here you can select what type of things to automatically accept. It can automatically fill in request items. It can also auto accept quests for you, auto complete quests, auto talk, auto skip cutscene, etc. Just to make things a little quicker for you. VFX editor, this one is pretty confusing. I don't really know how to use it. You probably need to look up a guide specifically for it. What it basically does, you can change how your skill looks. You can change the size of a skill, like the effects of it, the weapon skill effects, etc. to however you want. I think that's what it does primarily. Visibility, this is like, this is the void list. I don't think you need this anymore with the new update. You can actually avoid list people now, basically in game. But this is this is here if you want to use this instead for whatever reason. Weatherman. So if you're typing slash weatherman in chat to bring up the menu, you see right now it is nighttime in game, and then we can make it time to right in the afternoon. Clear skies, fair skies, clouds, fog, rain, snow, etc. Quite nice to have if you want to like do G pose, take nice pictures and stuff. That's Primarily what it is for, or you just want a sunny, you just want the game to be sunny 24 seven. You can have that too. Where am I plugin? It just shows you the exact location of where you're at on the top right of the screen. That's basically it. Which patch was that? If you hover over an item, it tells you what patch this item got added into the game. For this one is patch 6.0. This one is 5.0. That's really it. Nothing crazy. So that's pretty much all the plugins I have and I'm currently using. There are also more plugins, a lot more plugins that you can go through yourself personally and go through all of them. But if you don't want to, you can get the ones that I've gotten. I think they're all pretty useful to have. That's going to be it for this video. If you guys have more suggestions about plugins or mods that people should try out, leave it down in the comments down below. And make sure to leave a thumbs up if you found the video helpful and also subscribe for more future FF14 content. Thank you for watching. I'll see you guys next time. Goodbye.